We have several cases on our agenda tonight. Just bear with us. We'll try to get through them all as quickly as we can. Uh, we have the first case, well, actually the first two cases on the agenda tonight. Uh, our case 19-13 and 19-20, both dealing with 26 Green Street. These are continuations of both of these cases that opened up in the prior meetings. And I have to say that we have received a communication from the applicants. I'll read it just for the record. This was provided to the town hall uh, yesterday. It says, due to circumstances beyond our control, we are asking for a continuance of our requests to the zoning board to continue them to October 16th. We also agree to an extension of time to October 30th to file the decision. Thank you in advance for your cooperation in this matter. Lorraine and Wade will work. 26 Green Street, Reading, Massachusetts. So they've asked for another continuation <coughs> uh, of both of these cases until the second meeting of the board in mm -hmm. October. Okay. Uh, if there is any comments from the board, I'll hear them now. If not, I'll entertain a motion to continue both of these yeah. cases individually, one at a time. This is, uh, if, if I may ask, and you may have it in your notes, so I'm looking at my notes. Uh, 1913, we heard back in June, and this, this is the third time they've requested a continuation on that one, I think. That's correct. Uh, it was open. And 13 was opened on June 19th. Right. Continued to 8 7 and continued to tonight, and now they're asking it to be continued this to is, October 16th. Uh, right. And for uh, 1920, that was opened on 9 4. And this is continued the first. to tonight. Oh, this is okay. So this, this they're asking the for a second continuation to the 16th. Okay? Yeah. I think we ought to make it known to them that it's that. Uh, we can grant this continuance, but I think we ought to let them know this time to start making yeah. a judgment on what they're going to do with this property. John, it is, I don't know, is, is there any limits on the number of continuations? Just there really isn't, is there? I asked that question of Town Hall, and the answer yeah. is no. No, there really isn't. Yeah. However, so, however, however, it has to be by mutual consent of both parties. Right. So if there's not a mutual consent or agreement. Right. Just well, we've, say it. We've, we've continued. We've continued the uh, 1913 right. three times now. This is, I think, the fourth time. The right. fourth time is it? I think we this is. The, the this would be the fourth. Yes. This is no. We started. It opened up on the 19th, 19th of June. Right. Continued it to 87. Continued it to tonight. So going to 1016 will be the third time. Uh, and the what? other one will be. That's that's 13. I thought that the, uh, the June 3rd. Was that the original one that was opened up, or was it, I mean, you said the 19th. Was the original the one opened up in the third? Uh, I continued through this thing, and I came up, I came up with it. Yeah. This is I remember it the second yeah. time that I came to watch. <laughs> Not the first time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, in my notes, I have it, the 19th, continued to August 7th, Right. was the first continuation. Then we continued it to September 4th, which would be the third, and then now, uh, or continued to the fourth, and then it was continued to September 18th. So this is the fourth. And the number 20, 1920, that was scheduled originally to be open September 4th, and at that time, they asked to go to the 18th. So also, this will be the second of that one. Right, it'll be the second continuation. Right, right. and it's the fourth one on the other one. I right. think. Four. Mm -hmm. and number 20. It's the second continuation. I think. Yeah, I think that's that's it. So the request uh, this well, evening is to continue it until the... Uh, so they want to continue to when sign now? They want to continue it to the second meeting in October, which is the 16th. 
the 60th. That's correct. The first one is the second. Okay. okay. So the second meeting in October, which is 60. Okay. Yeah. Could, um, Mark, could you convey something to the applicant? Mm -hmm. I know that they'll be in to submit plans and whatever. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm reading the board right. You can, you can, maybe you can ask the chair and go around, but I think that the board is kind of losing patience um, in all these continuances. You lose these subject matter of the of the requests if because you, the requests are overlapping back and forth between the two and I can't keep them straight which one I thought I had it straight today but I'm not yeah. sure yeah see, I, I, I have all my notes for the for the first one which is number 13 and all the continuances and I really haven't written any notes on case 1920 because we haven't heard a thing on it yet he's never come before us never no it's never been op really opened before us we opened the, it and continued it the record on the sheet which yeah says it started on 619 to 87 to 94 to 918 right That's now it's here writing is yours and says <laughs> right is mine but you know, okay so anyway it's for it is that fourth time yeah so. yeah I, I, as I said, this is, you know, after after uh, four times it's been on the agenda and asked for continuation, I think it's getting a little too much. Uh, I think the next time, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to go with it one more time and then uh, 13, uh, I wouldn't go with it again myself. I think we ought to let them know that. Yeah. Okay. So, like, either, through, either through Andrew or Andrew. Or yeah. or, I didn't know if you want we'll to make. To I didn't know if you want to make a part of your condition to continue that. The next one would be the last extension. Yeah. Well, that would make it a little bit more final. It would make it a little inter more interesting. We'll hear, than I we'll hear yeah. both cases on that night, and That's that'll it. be the final on both, yeah. both cases. So the final. board would be prepared to make a decision that night on the 18th. Right. 16th. Yeah, on the 16th. Okay. Yeah. On the 16th. Okay. So I think for we'll both. Be, for yeah. both cases. Both cases. So I'll go ahead then and uh, so make a make take a, a, let's take a motion, motion. One at a time. Let's take a motion on 1913 and then a separate motion on okay. 1920 because they're separate. Okay. Even though they're together. <laughs> I'll make a motion on case number 1913 that uh, it be continued to October 16th at the request of the applicant. I'll second that. Second. second. John? All in favor? Okay. And regarding case number 1920. Uh, again, I will uh, make a motion to continue that case to October 16th again at the request of the applicant. And I will second it, provided that provided this is the last opportunity the last that the board needs to make the decision that evening. The board will make a decision on that night. Says Correct. On both. On both. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That would be fine. Second. I amended that. Okay. Amended Second that. Time. And all in favor? Okay. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to make a note here. This evening is 
case number 19-21, 61 Summer Avenue. I'll read the legal notice. The Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing in the Select Board's meeting room at Town Hall, 16 Lowell Street, Reading, Massachusetts, on Wednesday, September 18, 2019, at 7 p.m. on the application of Daniel Prinsick. Correct. Correct? <coughs> yes. Uh, pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 40A, Section 10, for a variance under Reading Zoning Bylaw, Sections 6.3 and 7.4, as may be determined by the Zoning Board of Appeals to approve a previous construction of a non-conforming deck with a non-conforming side yard setback on the property located at 61 Summer Avenue in Reading, Massachusetts. Unless there's an objection, I will dispense with the reading of the abutters list, except to say that the abutters were notified, as were the following. The Select Board, Police Department, Building Department, Health Department, Engineering Division, Town Clerk, Fire Department, Conservation Commission, Assessor's Office, CPDC, members and associate members of the Zoning Board of Appeals, as well as the Planning Boards of Wakefield, North Reading, Woburn, Linfield, Stoneham, and Willington. Testimony before this board is taken under oath. So if you wish to dis present or discuss, talk on this case this evening, would you please stand? Raise your right hand. I swear that the testimony given by me before this board will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The answers I do. I do. So you must be Mr. Daniel Prensick. That's me. Floor is yours. So tell us what this is all about and what you want to do. Sure. Uh, well, I believe you have most of the information that uh, was requested uh, pertaining to the current structure and I believe the previous structure. Um, the very short backstory: my wife and I have been member. Uh, residents of Reading since 2010. Uh, around 2015, we had a 9 by 12 deck attached to the house that was falling off. Um, I am a public school teacher nearby in Woburn, so summers generally are taking care of the kids and helping to repair anything that's fallen apart or needs to be fixed. Uh, so we decided it was something that we would try to work on ourselves. My wife's uncle is a, a carpenter, now a, a contractor and he agreed to help me with it in the summer of 2016. While we were working on that, we thought it would be nice to extend that just a few feet out. Um, previous structure, 9 by 12 became 12 by 12. Um, as we were working through that process, we looked at the yard above it into our retaining wall that really wasn't very usable, and we thought this would be a nice place to put in a patio. Um, we decided to do a wooden patio and extend it out to that retaining wall with a staircase that went up um, around it. Uh, I was not aware of the process to do that uh, beyond what we had done, and I believe it's six feet too far to the right. If I had known that then, what I know now, I definitely would have slid it the other way. We had plans to put a garden in there, which is now uh, in that section. So I believe it's uh, nine feet set back when it should be 12, but the structure is has been there for uh, these past just about three years now. Um, and that's where we uh, stand, I guess. It would be quite difficult to take it out at this point as it's permanently in, in the ground. Okay. Uh, it? That's, that's it. Uh, I'll take a moment to just read into the record as well the uh, uh, building commissioner's uh, memo on this case. Please be advised your permit application to approve the previous construction of a 10 foot by 16 foot deck that encroaches into the side yard setback to your existing non conforming home, which will encroach into the required 20 foot right yard setback, right side setback as defined in 6.3 table of dimensional controls, has been denied. If you wish to proceed, you will be required to apply for and grant a be granted a variance from this board under Section 7.4 of the Zoning Bylaws. So, uh, I guess, Nick, I'll start at your end and uh, yeah. go around the board for comment. So, I guess, what's there right now? Is it still the previous deck in its current condition? Uh, the deck is as is listed on the, um, the plot plan. 
the 10 by the 12 by 12, which replaced the previous 9 by 12, okay. and then the 10 by 16, which is uh, separate. They're not attached to each other. One runs to the other, but they're separate structures. Okay. And it's currently uh, completed. Or it, oh, it's been completed really? for just about th uh, three years now, the end of 2016. Okay. All right, great. That's all I have. Thanks. Uh, Okay, uh, I, I was going to uh, ask if the building commissioner has any further comments in regards to his letter on this. Uh, is this a, a, the new deck that the gentleman built is the one that's in question now, right, that needs a variance? Correct. <clears throat> and that came up because they, the applicants had applied for another project, um, and that's when the plot plan came in, and that's when I saw the deck did the history, there was no permits and all that. So um, they do have another project ongoing. I gave them the permit to start that project as long as they came to this board for relief one way or the other. Um, and then we'll take it from there depending on the decision of the board. But the deck is in place. Okay. Thank you. And that, uh, and that um, other, the second story addition is underway at this point. The entire upstairs has been gutted. Um, I believe we're waiting until Monday, and they're going to be removing the roof um, for that. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, I, I, I see you, you you went through the variance criteria, though you didn't explain them in your uh, tried my best. Yes, discussion here before us. I, to be honest with you, here, you know I look at this and. and this is an after-the-fact request for a variance. As a member of the board, and only one member is speaking, I, I have to look at this as if the deck has not been built right now. I, I'm looking at it as, okay, this is a request to build a deck within, a, within the side yard setback as uh, shown on the plan. And to be honest with you, I, I cannot see you meeting the first criteria of the variance, which is the uh, reason that you have to build in this particular location is because of the topographical features on your lot or something to that effect, such as there could be wetlands, there could be ledge, there could be something like that, and you have no other place to locate your deck other than here. And number two, in regards to the hardship, uh, I see any hardship associated with this is, is actually a self-imposed hardship. You've created your own hardship here by building the deck, and it's certainly not anybody else's uh, fault on that. And uh, that's that's the way I'm looking at it, and I, I don't see how you meet criteria one and two on this. Now, maybe as we go through here, uh, you could explain it better or something, but right now, that's the way I'm feeling on it. Uh, the only thing I can add to, to why that extra structure was built in there, um, I have two small children, and we have friends and neighbors with small children when they come. Um, the previous structure was a very steep um, section of hill to a retaining wall, and kids generally climb up over it. Uh, we've had a couple kids fall off of it at this point. Now that's not an issue because there's a staircase right. that is built into it. Um, so that takes away the need for people to come down through there. Uh, as far as why it was built in that direction, I, I honestly, it, it was not something that I was aware was, was an issue. I, I have uh, neighbors with a um, fairly large shed that's built on the line. Uh, in fact, when I bought the house, I thought it was, when we first were looking at the house, we thought it was ours. I didn't realize that you could build a structure that close to the, um, but it, it met, it was it was small enough, we were told, so that that's where it was, and um, there's a, a fence that our previous neighbors had told us, the, the one that's actually was theirs, it was falling down onto our property. Um, just last month, I actually repaired that fence for them, uh, because it was kind of an eyesore for us. Um, so I believe we're on very good terms, the neighbor that um, is on that side. Uh, so as far as, you know, the, the, the hardship it, it was was not a cheap deck to build and it would be pretty uh, difficult at this point to, to fix it other than to tear it down and that would be a pretty right. large financial cost uh, and, and the the original deck yes if I, if I can I'm just 
trying to understand it was is actually uh, ten and a half feet by twelve feet. Is that right? I, I that that may be correct. I, I guess I was thinking nine by twelve. Ten and, but, a, half uh, ten and a half sounds. Previous now. You say previous deck. So when that, we moved that, in 2010. It's been, been torn down, the previous deck. It was falling yeah. off. Yeah. Okay. I, I can understand that. You know, I don't, who knows when it was built. And yeah. There was a coffee can sized um, yeah. footer yeah. in there. We and have, then, we have that two have by two built. by four foot footers. They're yeah. solid. And that may have been built also without going through it was the permit pretty process. Hard. That's so be it. That's That wasn't you, and that was previous owners. Of some sort, but that once that deck's gone now, that's fine. So now you sat and clean, and then you went ahead and built this. I, I can, deck and it, it's, I, I can only plead ignorance again. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm originally from Ohio, um, I grew up on a small farm, and to be completely honest, I yeah. we didn't have any <laughs> restrictions uh, of that nature. So I'm, I'm learning about a lot of this process now, and I can assure you this is not something that will happen with the, the current project. We're trying to make sure that we. Um, communicate with the town any issues that we have um, at this point in time we're actually waiting for uh, abatement because of asbestos shingles we got permission for that we waited the 10 days um, I believe Friday will be that uh, when that's up so they're taking care of that we probably could have very cheaply taken it off ourselves but we obviously wanted to make sure that, that was done correctly and uh, safely so uh, the new structure itself uh, we I know that sometimes with uh, decks and patios there's an issue of uh, our contractor was explaining to us uh, people turning those into a, a screened in porch and then that becomes a part of the house. We have absolutely no intentions of that. We have a very nice screen porch. Um, I'd be happy to sign anything that says that that will never be enhanced or changed that's in any way if, if that right. is and, anything and, that can help. That's you as the current owner. We don't know, you know if it's sold uh, condition of sale. 10 years down the line. Somebody decides they want to screen it in and they, they come and do that. And you say you're, you know, you're fine. You have a good relationship with your next door neighbor, and that's that's good. I'm, I'm glad you do. But who's to say that next door neighbor isn't going to put their house on the market, and uh, three years from now somebody comes in and complains about it, the next door neighbor. So you, you can see it, it, there's an issue here. And I understand. As I say, I'm, I'm having difficulty, and that's what you have to do is meet the four criteria for a variance. And I have difficulty. Seeing how you could, how you're meeting criteria one and criteria two, so that's what I say. What Bob is saying, just for clarification, is that when you grant a variance on something like this, that you move, the variance stays with the property. It doesn't go away. It's there forever. So you know, it's it's a very very significant decision that needs to be made in every one of these cases. Uh, you done, Bob? Yeah, I am. Eric, right now. comment? Um, just really quickly. So the old deck came off of the screen porch. Yes. And I'm just trying to orient how that would look on the plot plan versus the, um, I guess, the, the hand-drawn plan that you have here. So would it be coming off this way or over to the side? Here? This was the Okay. So it, it really was just extended out. Okay. I believe two feet down. So okay. this was the previous. All right. So if I'm looking at the plot plan, it went out 10 feet to the left or whatever. Uh, yes. It, and it was within that. Um, okay. Well, it was within 15 feet. I don't know about It was not mm -hmm. 20 feet. The okay. The building itself is 15 feet. Okay. But we're not even sure if that was legally put there. And do you know, Mark, if there was anything in there about the old porch, whether there was any permits for that? For the original one, yes. Okay. Going back, there was a history of it. Okay. So, I guess the if you were hope, if you were coming in here to replace it, I don't think that you would have much of an issue. But the fact that you extended it is you took something that you know I guess was grandfathered in there, and then you you know push the envelope with it. And again, I, I get that, you know, you're not really thinking about side yard setbacks when you're doing that. Um, if you're working so with somebody with the construction background, though, that's definitely something that they should know about. Because, you know, they they should tell you or, you know, I'm sure they were thinking it while they were doing it. Like, 
gee, I hope the building inspector doesn't drive by because we might get in trouble here because okay. this is something you need to pull a permit for. And not only that, once you pull the permit, you know, they'll determine that you might even need to come to, to zoning. So it's hard for me to reach the conclusion that no one knew anything about what was going on. Um, and I think that, you know, the, the hardships and the issues that are raised really are ones of, you know, of, of your own creation because, you know, you know you're the one that, that put it there. Um, so I also think it's difficult to, you know, grant the, you know, uh, after the fact approvals because, you know, of course, you know, nobody wants you to rip the thing down, but if, if, that, if all it takes is, you know, putting it up and then saying it'll take a lot of money to put it down, our board is going to be, you know, filled every week with people looking to do that because... Is they, there, I'm sorry, is there any um, process by which I can, I can have it Part of, part of it inspected? Uh, is there a, a legal process where I can guarantee that there will be no, um, if, if the property were to change hands, that there would be no further consulting uh, on that? I, 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 again, I, I, I do not understand. I mean, I, I just, I know I've, sure. I've made a pretty big mistake and we're just no, trying I, to you know, prevent I, we're, from I'm, getting you know, any worse. I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, to really to dwell on it other than, you know, to the extent that we have to. But the problem is that we have a we have performance standards as the board. We understand T tables of dimensional controls that the select uh, board has put into place and voted on and said, this is what we think makes the most sense for Reddit. And you're asking for an exception to that, which you know, we have to meet all four of the criteria for that. I'm having an issue with uh, numbers one and two and potentially the other ones as well uh, because it's an after the fact request uh, you know other board members are probably gonna or have expressed um, similar issues so all I can go by is the performance standards that are there so the reason that they're there is because you know as a town we put them in place and right now you the issue is that you're asking for an exception, but you're also asking for an exception after the work's already been done, and then relying on the cost to undo it as a hardship to get it in the first place. So it's this kind of circular logic, which I understand why you have to, you know, come up with that. But it's one of those. I have things no that choice. Like, that's this right. Is believe me, I know you're kind the of. The process I was told I had to, hey, to walk I through at this point. The corner. I totally understand. But like as I said, you know, the issue is if that was a persuasive argument. And the, the room could be full, you know, the next time we, we meet with people understand. saying, you know, mm, it's going to take a lot of money to take down this, you know, nice, you know, four season porch that we just put up. So those are the, those are the objections that I have to the performance standards and also just, you know, a practical one there. So that's all I have right now. So. Thank you, Eric. John? <coughs> well... I'd have to concur with the other members of the board um, on the property card that we get from the assessor's office. The original porch is on there. It's a 9 by 12. It's part of the documentation. Um, so we know that it didn't come in for a building permit. Let's put that aside for a second. I go right back to um, what uh, Robert brought up first, and that is uh, without a building permit, um, we don't know if it's built to code, but if you're going to put anything on there or do whatever, you're going to have to go back to the building inspector. If he doesn't like the workmanship or whatever, it's going to come down anyways. But the reality is, as Bob had said, it's as if that does not exist right now, and you're asking for a variance to do that. The request on the variance for that porch right now is between 35 and 40 percent increase or encroachment over what is existing right now. The original porch was a 9 by 12. You're extending it out seven feet. Um, the, the part that's seven feet is a, is a separate piece. They're not attached. 
they're they're not. Well, I was. I don't know how that. According to the to the um, the certified plot plan that they're two different issues. pieces. Yeah. It is out another seven feet, except for a portion that I don't know because it, I could calculate it real quickly, or Bob could calculate it with his <coughs> with his rule, um, but. Um, it's about 35 or 40 percent in ex in excess of or an encroachment onto the side lot line. Have no idea what you want to build and what you, you're doing following this. Um, but right now, you have a very small envelope of buildable area, and that very that small deck pump. that deck is in the way if you're going to put up anything sizable. Um, but the reality is meeting the criteria, four criteria of the variance. You go back to that, that that's our standard. That's the state standard. We do a court of law. Um, if this board even were to grant you that, it would be very easy to overturn because you can't meet the criteria. Um, I go along, I, I see the first and the second, the third and the fourth, I, I question because you don't know who the neighbors are and what they, and nobody, I, I don't know if anybody showed up, but the reality is it may or may not be uh, a concern to the neighborhood. But certainly the first two criteria, and you have to meet all four, I'm having a very difficult time with that. Um, I think had you done it properly, or did anybody do it properly, um, the building inspector uh, would have told you that this is, if you're going to do something like this, you're going to have to come before the board to get a variance because that's that's our zoning bylaws. Um, the fortunate or unfortunate part for you is as you drive back by your house, whichever way you drive by, you cannot see in the back. So it's very difficult to see what's going on, so nobody's going to pick it up immediately um, unless they were looking for it. So Mark could be driving by looking for something else, uh, somebody else in the street to uh, prove uh, a building construction and pass right by it and not even notice it there. But when you come in and ask for uh, an addition to the house and he goes out and he checks, I mean, Anybody going out will see it if they go if they go in the back. They will see it from the front. So I, I think you're you're in a very difficult position. There's not often that a board would tell you, I'm sorry, just get a nice cut, cut it right down the line. Because if the board can't approve it, that's what's gonna have to happen. Unless you integrate it into the other project that you have already showed uh, the building commissioner and is ready to go forward. Yes, that's that, which is not the topic for this discussion. Already in place, so I don't know how that would. I don't want to change that again. My my upstairs is gone. No, we, 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 we don't even want to know about that. No, no. Well, we that's can, it's been accepted. It's been clear. We have gone through every channel for that. Every okay. we've okay. tried to make yeah. sure that we are following right that's the standard. Standard. That, that's what should be done now that that's, all I, that's all we have Hillary, any comment? um you were saying that there's actually two different pieces but it's not shown on your it, plot. the plot plan only shows a two-dimensional view of it right so because the hill is very steep again that was the, the issue was it was a steep hill there was that, that our house is built into. Um, there's a trough of a walkway that goes along the house and then a staircase that comes back around. Um, technically, that, that staircase, uh, stone staircase, and this was all constructed before we lived there. Um, part of that, we have found out through this process, is our, our neighbor's um, property. They're the railroad ties that go from their property to, to our property um, on the left-hand side. and. Uh, that that was the walkway to the the upper part of our yard, which has been um, improved to some extent. But uh, there's really not a whole lot we can do moving out in, in our property. It's a very small plot. 
Um, it's, it's kind of the, the pinch on Summer Ave, um, if you notice. No, I've seen um, your house. You've done yeah, a lot of work on it. We've, <laughs> we've tried very hard to improve um, the property to make it um, its appearance better. Um, right now, the front doesn't look very good because we're in construction, but there was a, a wall put in so that there's a, a flatter, more usable uh, part of property at the top. I, I would like to go through the town if possible as we're moving through this for another project. Our driveway is atrocious. Um, it is probably one of the steepest on Summer Ave. Uh, every time we have a service vehicle come in, it's almost impossible for them to bring things in. So we had to, our refrigerator died this summer. We had to get a new one. And fortunately, they were able to bring it in through that uh, back way. Uh, so we're just, we, we dealt with a very difficult plot of land. And I, I'd like to think that we've improved it. Um, certainly after this second edition, I think that the uh, property value will increase substantially. Um, the deck is a part of that, and it makes it a, I, I hope, a more desirable uh, piece of land. It, it doesn't quite match up to the standards on the, the higher end of Summer Ave, but you know we we like to think that we are improving the property and making it look better for ourselves. Uh, I have no intentions of moving anytime soon. Uh, I really like living in Reading. My kids are very happy uh, at Barrows. I'm really happy being a member of the community. I. I coach the cross country program here in town. Uh, I hope that I have good cover, uh, relationships with the people in town, and uh, I, I know that that probably has no bearance on this legal matter. But I, I just I'm, I'm stuck in a in a tight spot, and I I would I would like to make it right with if if possible. I just I, I don't know how I can do that without tearing out something that we really worked hard on. Again, I I, I was the majority labor of that uh, with my wife's uncle. So really proud of it. Uh, I don't know what else to. Thank you. Anything else, Hillary? Okay, I I've listened to all the comments around the table, and uh, you get yourself into a tough situation. Absolutely. And uh, kind of your own doing, maybe a lack of knowing what was right, uh, but. Uh, the arguments for that you put forth for the criteria really doesn't justify, in my mind, what you've done. And uh, I guess, can you just clarify for me and the board what the relationship is between the new addition you're putting on that's been you been given a go ahead to do vis-a-vis yeah. -vis this deck? If, if you had to take this deck down and make it conform. Yeah. Okay. What what's what is that? Does that do anything to the other project? Um. It would certainly make it a lot harder to get to the the portions that we're we're working on uh, just in today. In terms of construction. Yeah. Just today they were using that deck to access um, a rear wall that had had some damage. Um, or there was insect damage. Um. They're standing on that wall at that that new patio, um, replacing those beams to make sure that everything is structurally sound. And but if you were able to take that deck that you put in there, yeah, without approval, and made it redid it such that it fit, oh, um, the, the would the it affect of the previous porch? Would it affect the new? That would it affect the new piece? Um, other than the construction of it, well, the the amount of of time and materials and the displacement of of that space uh, substantially. Um, one of the again the the wall structure that we have in the front was put in at a great expense, but put in so that we had uh, flat surface for staging. We we just we don't have a lot. Flat space is at a premium on our property, so for all of the materials that are going to be going in there, um, they're, they're already clearing that out, and that's where they're and they're putting the staging materials. It's it's a, a large flat area where the beams are, um, all the wood. Um, I, I, I guess if it had been completely flattened and completely taken out, that would that would require excavation. Uh, with the previous. landscape that we had 
you'd have, as far as the, 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 this issue is concerned, probably 50 or 60 percent less space. Uh, it was a, a hill like this, about three or four passes of a, a lawnmower. Um, had a pretty steep angle, so it wasn't anything that was usable. But now we have that 10 by 16 um, that will store a little bit of our patio furniture, but it's mostly just going to be the materials for the, uh, the construction. Uh, so it would, it would seriously impede that. It would slow it down uh, another two or three months, and then we'd go into the winter, and I, I don't know. Uh, it, it, would, it would pull things back several months, at, at the very least. Well, I think you've gotten the flavor around this board that there's a re a reluctance to act favorably on this application uh, with this deck. And, uh, you know, it would appear, without taking a vote yet, that it's not looking favorable. Uh, um, before I ask for any further comments from the board, I'm going to open it up to public opinion and comment. Is anyone here this evening interested or willing to talk on this case? Then seeing no one, I will close the public portion of this thing. And uh, I think I would just let you know that the board can go probably one of two ways. We can approve your application or we can not approve your application. And I I think you can sense, excuse me. Okay. No, I, okay, I, I I'm going to go around the board again. Yeah, okay. Uh, but uh, the thing is, uh, you've got yourself into this situation without knowing the rules of the game. But we are obligated as a board to enforce the zoning laws of this town already. And uh, we have a clash here between the two. And uh, it, we're, we're probably faced with enforcing the town of Reading, even though it may it present a new hardship to you, but one that probably hasn't been imposed. So I'll just go around the table. Is there any further comment on this? Bob, do you want to? Yeah, I did. I, I, I don't know if you've thought of it. But, but sitting here and looking at this now, you've come in and asked for a variance. If this, if your old deck was still there, and you came in and talked to the building, ins uh, building commission or building inspector, you had to come to the board, possibly what could have been done, if I'm not mistaken, and somebody can correct me, you could have maybe gone under section 7.3. Uh, 7.3? which is an extension of that original deck back all the way to where you have it today and you could have got a special permit on that right now the way we look at it is that 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 original deck as far as we know we have to look at it is still there and if you came in and asked for a special permit to construct a new deck from the corner of that existing deck and all the way back to where, well, where you've built the new, the, your new deck, that is a possibility that I think the board could consider. And that would be a special permit, which has not got the restrictions, you might say, that a variance has on it. Uh, it's, a, it's a little easier judgmental vote, you might say. In the past, you're like saying. That. And I don't know if you would be up to that in that point, and it may but be a lot less expensive to take that that deck that you've already built and just modify it and bring in your support timbers and cut the way. I'm telling you, that's you may have to uh, do that. I mean, it's your choice. It's your choice. You can ask for a vote tonight. You can go back and think about it, ask for a continuation, think about it with uh, your builder. Can this be done? Uh, how about if we do this? Uh, if we have to tear the whole deck down and start from scratch, what's that cost? How about if we take and modify what we've built already? How much does that cost? I, I think, you know, you have, maybe you have some thinking to do about this, how you want to attack it. But you, you, I think you've heard the way the board is, is leaning tonight and uh, you, you, you may have some issues or may be very doubtful that you would uh, 
you know, proceed the way you wanted to proceed. But I'm just telling you, this is another option that you might have is to, uh, you know, with the, with the same case, ask for continuation and come in with a modification asking for a special permit. Not that it's, it's a possibility. Um, if I had come to the board yeah. uh, when we were planning for this and asked to build it as I have built it, would that have been granted in any scenario? I, to, to be honest with you, if you would come in and ask for a variance, you know, right from this get-go, I doubt if you would have got the variance at that point. I remember, but, you know, that's my opinion. And it's hard. Now we're looking back at something. I doubt it. If you would come back in in uh, April or something and said, uh, you know, this is what I want to do, and da, da da da, I want to do a variance. I find it doubtful that you would have gotten the uh, approval for that. But the thing who's, is, who's to know? We're yeah. speculating. The thing that Bob's alluding to is, if you if you'd have done what he was, the uh, alternative he was suggesting is going backwards. Okay. You basically probably I'm could have done that without that creating a new nonconformity. The, the biggest right. issue here is you create a new nonconformity, a, new non a significant new nonconformity. Right. Not a uh, little I, minor adjustment, okay? That's a big problem. It wasn't a half a foot. So, it wasn't two inches. It was substantially seven feet. Six, seven feet, yeah. Let me, uh, I went, wanted to make a comment too. I was, actually, I was going to ask <coughs> uh, our building commissioner to uh, answer a question for me. Um, if, the vo if the board takes a vote and the vote goes down, um, it, it does not pass. All of our motions are in a positive vein. Uh, so if it goes down to defeat, um, what would be the time frame for the applicant to Comply with, in essence, removal of the the deck that he put up. And if he were to do, if he were to uh, take option three and um, withdraw without prejudice uh, and come back to to you as the building inspector, would you send that back to us under seven point zero? Two and three uh, for continuation of the side lot line back to where the original deck uh, or the existing deck ends right now, and can that be wrapped into something to salvage what he's got? What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> the question, the um, question two, is, two can things. you salvage it? Two things. Uh, the first part. Um, I think the original agreement, I, I could be wrong just on timing wise, was uh, depending on the decision of the board, it, the section would have to be removed. I can't remember if it was before the frame inspection or before final inspections, but it was going to be before everything was finally approved. Um, I don't remember right now because it was months ago if it was before the frame or before the final. But there was a, there was a definite time. It's not six or eight months away. Okay. It's before you know the completion of their project. The second part is, um, judging by the the drawing that he sent, the original ten and a half by twelve foot deck appears that it probably was non Well, it appears that it extended past that section of the house by a couple of inches. Right. Now, so if we're at 15.3, it might have been at 15 feet anyway and not needed to come to see anybody. Right. Well, that's... So, so the way he wouldn't be coming back if he cuts it on the original line. He wouldn't be coming back for a special permit if he, if he kept he 15. Because he meets the 15 that's foot set. Right. That's Regardless true. of the extension of that line, if he meets the 15 feet, it ain't going to matter. He doesn't have to come back. It's right. all the same to me if I have to destroy the current structure. To be completely honest, I see. Technically, the building inspector wrote into the contract that you have for the other proposal before. You need to look at that. I was told that it was just conditional on that we would apply for that variance. Um, when I came in several times, the the, the building permit was issued 
on the condition that you applied to this board for uh, no, that was decision. just my understanding. I mean, when I for was their decision, if it went negative, the deck would have to be removed before a certain uh, inspection timeline. That's always if the board if the board it turned down on the outcome. I, obviously, if, I didn't know what the outcome was. Yeah, I was. It might have I, been with your uncle, but no, I, I have, um, mistakenly believed most people I spoke with in town that that um, that there was a possibility of. Oh yeah, nobody this. said there wasn't a possibility. Doesn't sound very but good. The thing is, if the board denied the variance, I just can't say. Well, okay, keep the deck. They denied the variance. Keep the deck. Go ahead, finish your addition. I guess I was understanding that they were separate issues and that that, that would be enforced I, as, no, as I, ex as I explained is. to you and your uncle on on issue of the permit that I couldn't issue a permit when there was a zoning violation. Correct. And that's why we made the agreement that once you applied, I knew you were making a move in good faith, and that's why I issued the permit for the second floor. We'll proceed as we, we have to um, following your, your vote. Um, I... Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. So that's sure. Yeah, we, we don't have an option three because that's already built into the contract between the town through the building commissioner Again, that. and the applicant. So if the board has to make a but ruling. If, if I might, if I might, John. There still is an option three. If, if the portion of the deck is modified to meet the setbacks before I'm ready for inspections or the final. If it's the final. Yeah, then that is option three. Right, okay. Because then there's not a violation. Right. I said the special permit thinking it's going to encroach like the, maybe possibly the other one did. But if it, it's, as the building inspector says, if you bring that back 15 feet from the property line and What's cut your deck off there. Frame for that? You're not in violation. There is no time frame if you cut it back to within, basically, inches from the existence and you draw a line to the back is right now and you cut along that and support it you're not in uh, encroaching on the side lot line so you don't have even have to come back uh, to this board and there's no decision rendered I, again sir my my second story is gone it's my my bedroom is gone it, it, there is nothing upstairs they've already started that project mm -hmm. and as far as that's why I asked about your uh, about the timeline. I, I'm I'm basically my whole family is living in two small rooms, where we will very soon be in the basement, all of us together. And you're asking me to consider um, removing a significant portion of our backyard at the same time that we're trying to have this second story addition uh, carried out. Uh, so as far as the I, I, I guess that's where I'm not understanding this, the hardship. I, I don't know. I don't know if I can. So get that just so removed. I can be, just so I can reassure you, we wouldn't let the house sit with no roof and no second floor. So that's why I was asking you, the time frame. Even, sir, even if the time frame was rough inspection, the house would be weather tight before that time. I, I just we've had so many setbacks. I don't know what when anything is happening now. I, I'm well, that's you know respectfully, that's between you and your contractor. That's that's. I, I, and I'm not trying to be a dick when I say this, but that's really luck. not my. You know what I mean? I, I, I mean, it's, it's beginning to look like you're left with not many. I'm screwed. Okay? Yes. And, no. And, no. You're no. Not you're not. not you, you're you, not. you have an option to. You have an option. Modify the deck. It's sympathetic to to your plight. Absolutely. But, uh, we're trying to work with you here and come up some, with, with, with a, a possibility of what could be done. And uh, the way I see it, number one, the way the deck is there now is not is not a possibility. And it, the deck is going to have to be modified if why, you want to keep it. Why was my property line allowed to be so narrow? I, I guess that's something I've, I've wondered. We've been constrict, constricted to, through the, uh, the plot lines. It's a very narrow space. Um, I, is it possible to, to work out a deal with my neighbor? Can you purchase a, a portion of another property? The, the neighbor's property is much larger and oh, to change the line? Sure, if you came back and said, well, I just purchased uh, can I reach, a six can, foot can strip I purchase over there? that six foot strip from yeah. there? Oh, absolutely. Well, Again, that would, I, I have a fence that I've been maintaining for the past six or seven years, mm -hmm. previous owner included, because that neighbor thought it was mine. Um, 
when we had the plot plan drawn, I, I realized that it's not even my fence, and I've been maintaining it, but, you know, the, again, the new owners are really friendly, and we've worked with them. I, I would certainly, I would prefer to go that that route. That, okay, okay but just, I just, can I just say what? Without thing. destroying there's, something. There's two conditions. They have to agree to it, first of all. Absolutely. It, whatever you purchase cannot make their lot nonconforming. I don't know what their lot looks like as right. far as square footage, setbacks. It can't make their lot nonconforming. Nothing's conforming on our part of town. It's all, I mean, I, my garage is two feet from the plot line. So, I mean, surveyors have a way of drawing lines that don't affect frontage, and you can gain square footage, but if they don't have enough square footage, you, you can't make their lot more nonconforming. It's a possibility. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what their lot looks like. Yeah, you don't know. You, that's something you would have to discuss with legal expert, and a, a surveyor, as he says. Uh, and uh, certainly, if you know, they, they have a lot that's uh, undersized. You know our our lot's work. undersized. Theirs is oversized. That's why I, I, I just thought of that. They have a very large undeveloped yeah. area in the back. We, we we don't know what it is. Yeah, I understand. I, I'm just. Grasping at this point. I, I well, the they, point they, is, you're, you're that's a possibility. You're offering some possible solutions, workarounds, or solutions to, to solve the problem. Okay, it's, you're not going to solve the problem without some pain and suffering. But you define some solutions, and so I go back to what Bob was alluding to. There's the actions you can go. Is you can ask us to vote tonight. It's probably. It, most likely going to be negative. I would rather not. If okay. I'm you can continue this thing or to ask a date. Yeah. You can ask for a continuance to a date to allow you some time to see if you can get some space from your neighbor. And that, then that's but, going to have to be determined as to what that. His problem still is he's got a, a commitment he wants to start that's going correct. down. He can't. Correct, but I, I would be open to extended any timelines to, to work something out. Not the board's concern. That's, that's correct. That's something that's he, right. him and the building inspector can work out. And you can work that out with the building inspector in terms of how that how to work around. We're not that mean. Thing <laughs> until you get your work with them. If if there was some forward movement, we would extend whatever we had to extend right. to get everybody in compliance. How do I ask for? And an I know extension. the timeline is critical to you because you don't want to live in the basement for the for, for, for an extended <laughs> period of time, okay? So you want to get the thing done. The time continuous with me has nothing to do with this board, so you don't have to worry about this board, but then you have to decide whether you want the board to make a decision or you want to continue or you want to withdraw without prejudice. So if I withdraw without prejudice, I'm just <coughs> at the mercy of the board to vote as they well, or I'm just pulling the the variance. Is that try and answer that? My best scenario is to ask for a continuance. That's uh, correct. I think that's probably. I would best certainly now, appreciate let, that. Let, let us tell you what that means. I already know that the next meeting of the board, October the fourth, is it the second? October second. October second is full. There's four cases on it. So the next opening, I was told, uh, is October the sixteenth. Uh, but that's 16th, got three That's on basically a two. month away, and I don't know where. I, I would definitely need some time to right. to work through that. So I would I would ask for at least a month or two to, to well, be able to one after legally October, work. The one work after this October sixteenth would be November sixth. That's the first Wednesday, in the, and then the next one is November twentieth. Again, the, the more time that we have to, to work through our legal options to make sure that we're not, again, doing anything that's that's really going to set us back even further. Well, you pick the, you pick the time. The later the date, date would be would be preferred if uh, that's go acceptable. Go to December, too, if you want to. I mean, you pick the date. Um, the November 20th would give you two months. The, the November 20th would be preferred if we could. Okay. I, worry, I worry about the further we extend it out. Yeah. The more options you have, becomes fewer. I, I again, my my time is at a premium. Right, I have very little time to, to work with this, and I want to make sure that I do it correctly. I realize that, but you're but you're up against it right now because it, you you're trying to 
get to set a project off the ground, which you said is going to start technically want to start Monday. It's already it's, started. It's already started. Mm -hmm. The interior is gutted. It's gone. I, I don't have it upstairs. It, the, the electricians are so, like you said, yeah, some so, demolition. So like I said, it's you know, just yeah. waiting to be cut. My timeline is, is movable. It's not etched in stone. It's just something I used as a guideline to make sure that I got compliance right. before they got their whole project finished and then decide to do nothing, then I'm stuck. So my leverage is movable. So the so November, uh, November you, 20th you can, to him is fine with me. I think we can come back with a solution in two months, you know, well, two months, November. But if you put it out, if you put it out to November, Point and then uh, as things go, you find out that uh, <laughs> you can move you can I, I guess sooner. We can always change that date, assuming we've got room on our schedule to do it. So, so can I just say something? Yes. Yeah, I, I also want to add, I mean, whatever relief the board gives you, and I'm just speaking as one member, like Bob said, we're looking as if the deck doesn't exist. We would grant you that relief with permits, but you've already done it without permits. So for me, it's kind of hard to, in good faith, grant you something that was done without permits. It, it, it would have to be torn down, in my view, anyways, to make sure it was built correctly. I'll be honest with the whole board. I, I was led to believe uh, inaccurately that that good faith was going to take into account my character with the town and, and that I've tried to be a good citizen. and. When I say it, this is not going to be an issue, and that I, I will do whatever I can to fix it without destruction of the deck, um, so I, I can claim these have been blindsided. Just so, so, so just just for um, mindset of the board, um, we have done after the fact permits before, where building permits where people have built stuff um, come in after the fact. Maybe they're selling the house, maybe they just bought the house and found a screen porch or a deck built. Um, we have them pull a permit. And we go out, and if the, even though they didn't pull a permit originally, if the deck is constructed per the code and we feel it's safe and good, we, should, we don't make them tear it down just to rebuild it. Right. Yeah. It right. defeats the purpose. But, it, but, it, it, but the deck has to be, has to be built to. Right. And, and, and it may be. I, today's you know, standards. It may be. Yeah. It may be. 15 feet from the property that set, meet setbacks, meet construction standards, building code, etc. And, you yeah. know. Uh, and that, that, that's what the issue is here, is the setbacks on this particular particular deck. The new plan is not sitting over the encroached area for the deck right now, is it? I'm sorry, the, the, the addition? The addition. No, it's up. Yeah. yeah. It's over the main portion of the house. Yeah. We have a one and a half story cape that's going to become a two story, two -story. building. So, so it's, it's the main, it's, it's the core of the house. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So, I mean, that's not impacting anything right now. Well, yeah. Um, unless it extends over into the setback requirement for that, the core of the house, you're looking at, I don't know what that is. It looks like about, I don't know, this little piece here. Here's the core. So if it's if it's if it's gone beyond that, then it is encroaching. If it is not gone beyond the core, it is not encroaching. Nothing will be over the the deck portion. It's more a question of access. Again, it's the the backyard is about six feet above uh, the level of the house. Just, you, I think what you say is mix, mix finishing of the construction uh, in addition to the house a little extend the time frame difficult significantly. Yeah. What you say. Yeah. And, and we've and already spent a lot of money to make that less in the front. So if there's no other comments from the board, uh, I would ask for a continuance. You are asking for a continuance to November 20? Yes, please. Okay. Is there any further discussion on this from anyone on the board? I'll entertain a motion to continue this case until November 20. You got a concern on your face, Mark. You got any comment? No, I'm just 
I'm just my wheels are turning oh, back okay. to right. the application okay. and the timeline stuff. Right. Don't don't the board don't worry, Sai. Okay. Do I have a motion? You work, you work with the board, right? And the applicant. Not That's a problem. That's right. Okay. Do you like to make a motion? Then I'll, I'll motion to move case 191 summer Ave to November 20th. Do I have a second? Second. Voting members are Nick, Bob, me, Eric, and John. All in favor? Five zero zero. Okay, we'll continue it until November. We'll give you a chance. Thank you for your time. But if you're going to engage with your cut with your neighbor, which sounds like an interesting possibility, you got to make sure that they don't violate, create a new right. nonconformity. Well, so cross our T's and dot our I's. But we just we just looked at the at the plans that came with it, and your neighbor has beyond the fifteen thousand four hundred and something yeah. four hundred twenty five square feet. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the largest plots on that section, and ours is one of the smallest. Well, but, he, he but I, if their house comes to the side, I don't know if that's possible. And they may have plans to extend. Yep. I will look into it. Thank you. Okay, okay thank you. Case on the agenda this evening is 77 Mineral Street. Again, I'll read the legal notice. Zoning Board of Appeals, this is case 19 22. Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing in the Select Board's meeting room at Town Hall, 16 Lowell Street, Reading, Massachusetts, on Wednesday, September 18th at 7 p.m. on the application of Greg and Heather Stepler. Pursuant to MGL Chapter 40A, Section 9, for a special permit under Reading Zoning Bylaw Section 7.0, 7.3, and 7.3.2. Remove an existing non-conforming single-story structure and replace it with a new two-story addition with a non-conforming side yard setback to an existing non-conforming dwelling on the property located at 77 Middle Street in Reading. Unless there's an objection, I will dispense with the reading of the abutters list except to say that the abutters were notified as were the Select Board, Police Department, Building Departments, Health Department, Engineering Division, Town Clerk, Fire Department, Conservation Commission, Assessor's Office, CBDC, Members and Associate Members of Zoning Board of Appeals, as well as the Planning Boards of Wakefield, North Reading, Woburn, Linfield, Stoneham, and Wilmington. Testimony given before this board is taken on the roll. So anyone here this evening who wishes to speak on this case and close your eyes, even if you don't think you might at this time, no, no harm done in doing that. Testimony given before this board is taken under oath. So if you think you may want to speak, which uh, you all look like you do, baby, uh, please stand and raise your right hand. I swear the testimony given by me before this board will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Right. Thank you. Are you going to speak for that, I'm Nancy? Speaking. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Nice uh, to see you again. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm Nancy Toomey. I'm the architect for Greg and Heather's project. Uh, this house was built around 1916. It has some pretty nice stone foundations underneath it, which um, this uh, side uh, den that exists right now that is non-conforming, it's about 10 feet from the side yard, uh, also has nice rock foundation, but it isn't conducive to putting a second floor on it. Uh, Greg and Heather have uh, two young daughters, and they find they need a second bathroom on the second floor. So the project was to initially try and use that space over that den to gain a, a bathroom, but uh, after further exploration, it was determined that the foundations are not adequate. So. We are now proposing that we remove that single story structure and replace it with a uh, longer but still 10 foot wide two story.
story structure. The first floor will be an extended den, and the second floor will contain this master bath that they were looking for originally. Um, the uh, addition is designed such that it keeps the same roof lines and is conducive with the existing house. Uh, we believe that it isn't going to be a detriment to the neighborhood, and uh, there is a neighbor here who probably would like to speak, who is the next door neighbor. But we ask for you to grant us a special permit to extend uh, this non-conforming structure. Thank you. Any questions, please ask. Okay. Uh, any comments uh, from you, Mark? None. Okay, I'll start at this end this time. Hillary, you have any comments on this? Uh? Um, can I defer to later <laughs> in the room? <laughs> Certainly, maybe. <Yeah. laughs> uh, so we're taking down a single story and putting up a two story. That's correct. And staying uh, apparently two inches inside um, what exists right now. Correct. Um, I don't, I don't have any uh, difficulty of you meeting the criteria of 732. Uh, uh, it appears that uh, you have done that. So I, I think it's a, a standard uh, request coming before the board. I don't really have a lot of comments on it. Eric? Uh, looks good to me. You have a um, <clears throat> what looks to be a, uh, a legal non conforming lot and structure. Uh, just to reiterate what you already told us, there's a den in essentially the same footprint that will not support a second story. I'm going to remove that and then within that existing footprint, uh, reconstruct it with a bathroom upstairs, but you're going to extend it back along that same line uh, towards the back of the house. Um, I took a look at the plans. They look great. They were all in you know, architectural conformity with what's already there. I don't see any issue for the neighborhood, and I think that John mentioned you're actually slightly improving the nonconformity there, so bonus points for that, Nancy. That's all I've got. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I would agree with what I've heard so far. Uh, I don't, uh, you know, just to keep it short and reiterate, basically, I see no increase to uh, any non-conformities, and basically we're on the westerly side of this building, or this dwelling, is where it all the construction is going to be. And uh, certainly I don't uh, see that there would be any... Uh, significant or substantially more detriment to the uh, neighborhood at all. Uh, so I I think they've met the criteria of uh, the uh, bylaw. Nick? Yeah, I would agree with everything I said. Uh, you're under the 25% lot coverage, you know, increasing the lot conformity. Looks like a good project. Yeah. Can I? I totally agree. I think you've done it. Thank you. Just the way you should have. <laughs> you got it. Do you want to add a I comment just, now, Hillary? I, I'm ready now. Okay. Um, I just wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing. Sorry, I'm new to this whole no process. So um, I just want to say I walk past this almost every day taking the kids to school, and I didn't even notice there was an existing structure. My only comment is that there are, it's shaded by, or it's covered by lots of trees. I don't know if that's a problem with the neighbors. So that's my only concern. Any comment? Uh, no, no, I. Are the, I mean, have I the neighbor, so the we'll last the neighbor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess uh, I'm the neighbor. Of my wife and I reviewed the plans. Don't have any objections to them. I mean, we we know that there are trees there that are basically a natural barrier, and I think they're going to try to preserve those if they can. Um, I know that the structure has to be taken down. Um, and, you know, if they do have to be taken down, I had only asked that something comparable be put back in their place. Yeah, I kind of saw that the trees were pretty close, and if you put the addition in and open up the window and lean outside, you could shake hands with the trees. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 
<laughs> We're fine with it as it is. Might do some pruning, but. <laughs> yeah. It's not us. Okay. Uh, I'll take this opportunity to open up to public for comment. Anyone, you three, want to make a comment on this thing? Nancy's drawing yeah. great too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then I'll close the public portion of this. And uh, is there any other comments from the board? Can we get that gentleman's name to the record sign? What, this gentleman? That's right. That just spoke? That's right. Uh, yeah, it's in the minutes, I think. Oh, it is. I'm uh, Steve Napolitano, 81 Mineral Street. Thank you. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure because I'm sure Andrew would be like, guys, who is this man? You know? I'm going to look at either Nick or Eric to write this one up. Okay. Right. Okay. Which one of you would like to raise your hand first? I will do it. Thank you. Happy to do it. All right. Let me cobble together my materials here. So, I move that the board approve the application for a special permit uh, pursuant to Reading Bylaw Sections 7.0, 7.3, and 7.3.2 uh, for Greg and Heather Stepler's application to remove an existing non-conforming single-story structure and replace it with a new two-story addition with a non-conforming side yard setback uh, at 77 Mineral Street in Reading, Massachusetts, as depicted on a certified plot plan dated August 5th, 2019, stamped by Stephen M. Malischek. Malischek. thank you. Um, and also in conformity with the architectural renderings, uh, which I will designate uh, sheets A1 through A10, <coughs> prepared by uh, Tommy Design, 23 California Road, Reading Mass, 0867. I will add to that the standard conditions. The, the special permit shall be conditioned upon the following. It, that one, the petitioner shall submit to the building inspector a certified plot plan of the proposed construction and proposed foundation plans prior to the issuance of a foundation permit for the work. Two, the petitioner's final construction plans for the new structure shall be submitted to the building inspector along with as-built foundation plans prior to the issuance of a building permit. And three, as-built plans showing the completed construction shall be submitted to the building inspector immediately after the work is completed and prior to the issuance of an occupancy permit. So that's it. Is that just well with everybody? Yeah. <coughs> I'll have to take a second from someone. Just one question. Nancy, do you, have, do you date your architectural plans? I do. Uh, I, yes. I think it's 8519. August 5th. Yeah, August okay. 5th. Dated, yeah. Yep. I, I didn't hear that. In no, I didn't. I didn't say that. But I'll, <laughs> I'll amend uh, to include the date of August 5th, 2019. So. Okay. Thank you. Second, Probably as amended, second. that's fine. Second. Bob, second. Okay. Voting members again are John, Eric, myself, Bob, and Nick. All in favor? Approved. 5 to 0. Stand by, Nancy. I'll give yes. you the. That's good. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Steve. I don't think so. I think they should have listed the whole copy of the whole copy of the whole copy of the Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, I do. Double checking those. Am I dismissed? Uh, we have one more thing to discuss, which doesn't involve you. Yeah. So I think you're dismissed. Was it a raise, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're talking about your. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this is not bad, Mark. No, no. What's, well, the over and under was 8 o'clock. It's 821. <laughs> All right. No Bruins game tonight. Well, that's good. Thanks, everybody. Okay, good, good night. night. Thank you. Well, somewhere in here, there's a plot line. What's the date that we continue the uh, Smith Oil to? The which one? No, uh, Main Street. Street. Yeah. Where the oil, you know, the Two apartments feet. that what they wanted to build. Uh, I probably have it again. Uh, I left it out in the car. Yeah, I maybe have it here. Let me have a look. Uh, walking for uh, Main Street. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Continue to October 2nd. Yes, October 2nd. Yep. Standard conditions? Yeah, when we made it clean. I might, I, mean, have, I might have one in here. Eventually. Standard conditions. I know you can print it off the website. I don't think it is on which side, is it? Is that what it's on? Well, then. No, I don't. Know. I don't have a I think, uh, yeah, I think the man chief can go back and ask, uh, more. I'm sure he's got a copy of it. No, I don't. Uh, is it an actual one? I don't. You do I don't. Bob's a good guy. He keeps all those stuff. That's my last copy. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Thank you. The thing I want to bring up next is not on the agenda. It's not the town hall about it. When I, was when I was reviewing the minutes of August 21st, okay, for uh, uh, going through the case on 104 Salem Street, at the corner of Pearl and yeah, the one, yeah, yeah. they had submitted a request to continue it to tonight and we had nothing we received nothing that I knew of to continue it to a later date or ask for a further continuance or anything and I got a hold of uh, Andrew and I asked Andrew if he received anything from these people. And he said, no, this was yesterday morning. So he got a hold of them. And uh, we got a uh, another note, another letter from uh, uh, Attorney McGrail, which is dated. 
today. Today? Okay. And I'll read it, I'll read it to you. And it says, address the Reading Zone Board of Appeals. Dear Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, on behalf of my client, HB Development Corp., I respectfully request that you continue this matter until your second meeting in October of 2019. We are still in the process of meetings with the building commissioner and administrative staff in an effort to resolve this matter in an agreeable and acceptable fashion for all parties. Furthermore, if the continuance is granted on behalf of my client, HB Development Corp., the time for the Board of Appeals to render and or file a decision with the town clerk is extended until November 20, 2019. Yours truly, Brian D. McGrail, Esquire. Okay? So if we didn't, if we didn't bring it up, we'd have come through tonight and it would have just died, I guess. Okay? Whatever that means. But they have asked for another, another continuance. And my question to the town was, it's not on the agenda. Can we act on this request? And the answer was yes, we can. Okay? It's other business. It should have been on the... This is the second time this has happened. Yeah. Actually, I think it's the third time. Actually, um, I, only, I remember one other time. I don't, yes. Yeah. I went looking for my packet in my uh, bookcase at home, and I can't find the packet. I kept my, the I packet. Got, I kept the packet. <laughs> yeah. I've got, I've got my packet. Um, I get it around yeah, somewhere, I would think. But I now, I drove by one. that property today. No, there's nothing happening. It's got a big, big metal fence around it and they're yeah they're taking a lot of trash out of that place well it's uh, so it's in a cleanup mode mm -hmm. at the moment okay it was anyway like floating out. Huh? before it was like everything was falling really dilapidated and oh yeah well, it's, well, it's, it's a mess like three feet high that's, that's, that's litigation i mean that's yeah. What do they call that? A some, something nuisance. Uh, yeah. Well, they had oh, the public nuisance. Public nuisance. No, no, they no. Had the, they had the health department like issue a letter for to clean that up. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been asked to continue it again for a second time to the second meeting in October, which is the 16th. Which John mentioned, we already have four items on that agenda. That uh, night. Well, right now. Schedule that Andrew put out. We have uh, just Salem Street and Green Street. The two for Green Street. Two for Green Street and let's see. And Nugent Lane. But that's the second. And Nugent Lane, yes. You are right. Nugent Lane is here. To the second <laughs> of October or the second meeting? No, in Nugent, October? No, no, Nugent Lane is for the second. You're saying the second meeting in October. Mm -hmm. The second, second meeting, meeting in October. It's the 16th. It's the no, 16th, it's for the 2nd of October, according to this. Is it, no, no. What, what is the request? Is it for the, it's for the second meeting in October. Yeah, to continue yeah. To, yeah, the yeah, 16th. The 16th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The second meeting in October. Right. Yeah. October 2nd has Nugent Lane, Walker Brook, and yeah. Main Street. The three. So we have three on the 2nd, and we now have three on the 16th. Um, what is green is green? Uh, the second meeting also October 16th for Green Street, right? Yeah, Green Street's for October 16th. Yeah, the two on Green, the two pieces on Green Street. two cases and on that. Yeah. Yep. So, we, we had a very good individual sitting as clerk for the board um, but well over qualified and left since then a number of especially the scheduling has fallen apart a little bit um, I know they're up I know they're up to to par with staffing but I, I how this is being rendered, I don't know. Um, I, I stopped doing that. So that's the chair's kind of responsibility. Yes. But I think it should be it should be very clear. I mean something like this should not happen. What this this one that we just talked about? 
Yes. Yes, absolutely not. No. Should have gotten picked up. Absolutely. Yeah. Luckily, Cy saw it. And, I mean, the only uh, time I picked it up was when I was looking at it uh, Monday night. Yeah, I asked about it. and uh, When I got know, the admittance. Able to take care of it. No, and, uh, of the business. But it should yeah, happen it, that it, way. It's just strictly a continuation. It's not a uh, it been any, on, been on this issues. Thing. I agree. It almost fell through the cracks. Well, I'll police it. Yeah. A little more That's all we can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Did we take a vote on that? I will uh, make a motion uh, to. Uh, what, what's the case number there on that now, It sir? is case number 19 22, I believe. I just had it. Hold on. No, 14. 1914. 1914. Yeah. And that's the case number 1914. Uh, right. Yep. Uh, I would uh, make a motion that we uh, continue it to October 16th, 2019. Correct. At the request of the uh, applicant's attorney. So moved. I mean, so second. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me just make a note of that. Yeah. yeah. comment. Uh, uh, we're going to be reviewing Walker Brook on the 2nd, which means you got to review the date, mm -hmm. September 4th. And Kyle was one of the original reviewers on that one, so I got to make sure he reviews that tape before that meeting. <coughs> okay. Well, we also have to find out if Kyle's going to remain on the board. How, he how long he's going to remain on the board? Huh? Say it again. Kyle talked about maybe not continuing. Yes. The the board. Yes. Yes. And he's missed the last push. couple of meetings. Okay. So but we need to the, talk to him. But the <coughs> now, did you not review the tapes on 55 Walker Brook? Yes, I did. I signed them. So up. in the event that he did not. Yeah, I, I signed the participate. Tonight. You could, yeah. you could, then act as the fifth member. Right, okay. right. If he doesn't participate, I, I should be able to vote so, on that, and have, yeah. or at least provide the fifth vote. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay. All right. That's good. So all you gotta do is review the tape of nine four of nine four. Okay. All right. Now, moving right along, uh, the agenda also says we got three sets of minutes to review. 717, 87, and 821. So, and we got them all tonight, I guess. So we'll take one at a time. Let's start with 717, and I'll give you a few minutes. Yeah, that's the other two I had reviewed. Luckily, mm -hmm. I had that, but I haven't seen this one before. Who's going to make our revisions? Huh? Who will make our revisions? Uh, I. Did you review them? We'll, I'll mark up a copy and then I'll get them down to the town hall. Perfect. Okay. So we'll, we'll do that happily, right? <laughs> so let's go to seven, seven, eight, seven, seven, eight, seven, eight, 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 eight. And the first thing that needs to be amended on 717. And John's name, last name is incorrect. <laughs> you know? Are you, hey, Hillary, are you, are you good at making clerical corrections? <laughs> no, I'm I can not. do it. We'll let you do the corrections on the copy. Okay, All you're right. probably better than I am. John Jerima. So. What is there? Somebody else missing from that? Yes, yeah, yeah. Hillary's missing. Was she here exactly. though? Exactly. No, she was here. I just asked her. She was here. <laughs> okay. So I was here. I'm on. <laughs> What's wrong with John Okay, you got John Jarema corrected? I do. Yeah. 
and you weren't and I was present you were not present so we need to put your name down there too Got it. okay <laughs> Okay. It's two. And two. And Hillary said that she's good at this, so. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, why, that's why we're going to rely on her forever. I didn't see anything. <laughs> Can I have the other one? Okay. Hey, John, if they could spell my name, they ought to be able to spell yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's not correct on the other two. <coughs> oh God! Oh, the words is totally gone. Oh, there is the young. He was given. So, 1914 was already continued once, and that was the 21st of August. Right. And then the last time we met, and um, Andrew was here, he had something asking for us to continue it until this evening. I remember it sitting. Yeah, he had, he had, he had a, he had a Would have been on the last one, 821. Yeah, I think you're talking about this, John. Yes. Huh? Yep. I just, I just see one grammatical error on page three. One, two, three, four, five, sixth sentence down, when it says clarity of footnote one, Mr. Redfern stated, not stated. <laughs> I'm missing the T there. That's, and that, that's the only guy I saw. I could have missed something else, but yeah, that's fine. Well, a quick read through, that's what I saw. And then the member is the only which set of minutes was that? Uh, page three. Page three of 717. 717? Yeah, I'm sorry, 717. interesting on page four there on the third paragraph down it says that Mr. Al Perry mm. 
Al Perry tent from I guess from Ten Spring Street. You see that? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Just put them around. You're right. Stated that the house is overgrown. Well, that's, a <laughs> that's interesting, but <laughs> that's probably what he said. So I'll leave it alone. What he said, but yeah. I don't have any. Any other, if there's no other comments, so I'll uh, look for a motion to approve the comments that have been made already. I'll make a motion to uh, approve the minutes of uh, July 17th, 2019, as uh, amended. Second. All in favor? Would you, just, would you just write the top of that amended copy so I don't get it screwed up with all the elbows in there? The next one is uh, this, to take a look at is 8 7. First one I saw was Robet Radford. Robet. Good catch. Robet did Pick up Robert that. up the top there. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I see. No, I didn't have any good comments. Anybody else? Uh, the underlined case number 1915 for Nugent Lane. Should be 11 Nugent Lane. That's correct, 11. That's right. That's all I see. Ah, they did not put that one in. Page. Good catch here. Page two up the top. Should be case 19 11, Nugent Lane. In the title? Mm -hmm. new gym Is this on this one? Yeah. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Two cards. Thanks for picking up that. Okay. Do you have any more? Anybody? Okay. Yeah. I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes for 8-7 as amended. Mm -hmm. second? Second. Second. All approved. All in favor? All right. Five zero zero. Okay. And Robert is on the second. Robert is on 821. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, we're on 821 now. 
in on page one, it's the second paragraph toward the bottom. Should winter be capitalized or should that be lowercase? Which one? Where? Before winter. I, I I don't think it needs to be capitalized. It doesn't. I don't think no. it needs to be either. No. <coughs> Minor stuff, but. Uh, the bottom, the bottom paragraph. Uh, it says Mr. Latham replied that would be agreeable and could be work, and could work, and could, and work. Uh, just take could be out. I think work could. and work could be started within that branch. Just take could be out and work could be start. Yeah, I think just take could be out. It's in twice. I had uh, my copy at home when I went through it on uh, page, uh, page 5, page 1918, second paragraph. See that? Uh, what is it? Uh, page 5? Page 5, page 1918, second paragraph. Mr. Redfern started by stating he is, I am not an abutter, I'm a neighbor, and not an abutter. So you've got the reverse there. Yeah. And that's what I wanted to make it. I was a neighbor, but not an abutter at all. I was, was just changed by stating I was he, not, he, is a, he is a neighbor. Yeah. Just but, I think I was, but, you know, if you wanted, it was there. I was emphatic that I was not an abutter. Okay. You know, I was not on the abutter's list. So I'm not within 300 feet of it, but you know they are in the neighborhood. That's what I wanted. To Got that, Hillary? Yes. Yeah. Um, he is a neighbor, but not in a butter. Right. Yes. On the second page, uh, down under uh, 11 Woodland Street, you could take the underline out for the date August 21. Just that doesn't need to be underlined. Hmm. And I think down at the bottom of the page. Where it begins with Miss Nancy Toomey. Uh, the second line, I think that should be stated, not stated. to accept the minutes for the August 21st uh, CPA meeting as amended. Huh? I think Hillary made that motion. <laughs> yeah, I'll make that motion. <laughs> oh, all right. Perfect. <laughs> you did? I did. Anybody want to second it? I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? We'll leave with you. Raise your hand. There you go. Yeah, there we go. I guess that's it. I will talk to Kyle. Uh, if he does, if he's well, he he's talking about leaving, but I don't know when, and we need to get a commitment right. I think, from him. Uh, I have had a conversation with the select board, with the chair, and uh, they are working diligently to find us some replacements. They say. So hopefully that uh, it will come to pass sooner than later. So with these, do I take these to Amanda tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, you can give them. I gotta go down to the town hall anyway, so I'll just take them and turn them in. Okay. Appreciate your back on the mountain. Good, good, good. I'll uh, bring my blue pen for sure. Next. Yeah, this is eight twenty-one and seven seventeen. You got eight seven down there somewhere? Is it in there? I gave you three. Oh, here it is. I got it. All right, good. Thank you. All right. I think that might cover it for the night. Uh, does anyone, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. <laughs> I second it. You second it. Did you hear that? <laughs> nice. 
All in favor? Uh, I had a comment. I just want to say something off the record. That uh, you may not be off the record. I, know, I was just going to say that. 